We investigated at a pan-European scale where and how and what type of land we can restore across the European Union. But also, and this is the important novelty of our study, take into account the current and future land demands. So for instance, how much land we need for agriculture, for bioenergy and for forestry. And we really found that, our, that we can restore across the European Union enough land while also satisfying these competing demands. It will help our climate as well as biodiversity, but also it shows that every European country can uh, of course restore, make their own restoration plans, and restore lands on their own. But our study actually shows that there is benefit in co-coordination across borders between neighboring countries and across the EU on what land is being restored. Because if countries actually collaborate in restoration efforts, then there is overall more benefits to be reached and better outcomes for biodiversity and the climate. And all of this, of course, without any sacrificing future food production or bioenergy demand and timber. Our study can definitely help policymakers, but also land planners at regional level. For example, we showcase a new method that is uh, integrated spatial planning that can combine these different competing objectives such as food production but also biodiversity objectives into one combined approach and this will of course be very relevant now that European member states have to make these national restoration plans and essentially identify which areas and where they want to restore that. Our method really can help showcase how this is possible with the least amount of conflicts.